Start with the buzz. A little bit different, we're out of my studio and we're in the studio of Steve Barty, which is, he is a local potter. So say hi to Steve. Hi Steve. Hi Milo. Uh, <laughs> hi everybody. <laughs> and today, I get to be the one buzzed and Steve being the facilitator instructor today is going to be the one instructing me on a project. And what are we going to do today? That's right Milo, this time we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, we are got this canvas here, this bottle that I threw this morning help from my friend Dale Simmons and we're going to manipulate it or decorate it and um, make it say something tell a story and we're gonna tell a story oh and I'm drinking leftover sake from Lucinda thanks Lucinda okay let's get started All right. so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be thinking about the story you want to tell and then manipulating this by adding clay or subtracting it. After yeah, so we're, I love the idea, but first off, let me just explain. You made this earlier today. That's right. It's, and it's still wet. Yep. And so, and, and malleable. Very much. Big yeah. words. Yeah. Malleable. Can you spell malleable? M-A-L-L-E-A-B-L-E. -L -L -E -E. Is that right? No. <laughs> Okay, I think I missed story, some. Yeah, a story, like, a story, a story. You want to start there? Yeah, I want to start ripping it apart. Okay, I want to start, start ripping it apart. Let's get I have some an tools idea and start head. ripping. Yeah, okay, okay, let's go. Okay. okay. Ah! Let's carve it up. Okay, so you just gave me a bunch of sharp objects. They're not some that sharp, knives. actually. Yeah, some All of right. them are. Yeah, that one's sharp. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it? All right, yeah. let me start with this. Let me start I with this. Think chart. that I, you know, I have an engineering background. What? And yeah, so I have <laughs> engineering and what? Uh, electrical engineering and computer science. Uh, but I have kind of like like you, an analytical mind. So you kind of deconstruct. So as a potter, I'm like a material scientist too. So I'm always thinking about the chemistry, the physics, the engineering behind the stuff. So I think that that's kind of what gives me a little bit of a unique angle on it. Well, any skilled potter develops all this uh, kind of engineering knowledge, so maybe that's my superpower. So it's, let's talk about saying. your studio here. You offer classes. Yeah, so we have this uh, old industrial building that we've made into a community art center. We've got this little pottery studio here and we uh, teach wheel throwing classes and hand building and really uh, I was doing a bunch of formal classes, but what I found works best is do a lot of kind of more independent study drop in on people's schedules like you know like Sunday afternoon Milo comes over and drinks some sake and uh, carves some pots. Leftover, so, sake. leftover, leftover sake. Leftover sake by yeah. Lucinda. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a t-shirt. Between the lines and here's where you want to be a little careful not to carve too deep. Yeah but you can smooth that out with your fingers. Also because um, you know the AC is running it's taking the humidity out of the air this will actually Stiffen up a little bit in the time that we're working with it. A little bit. It'll dry up a little bit. You said stiffen up. Ah! <laughs> Wait, the AC's running? Because why am I sweating? I will take suggestions because you are the professional. So the this is this tree trunk, but it also kind of a, evokes a, a dancing, like a gyrating mermaid type creature oh, here. Does too. it? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. evoking... Is evoking gyrating mermaid to you? Yes, very much so. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what that says about you, Steve. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> I don't know. It's well, look at it. Don't you see that? Don't no, I, I don't see any gyrating mermaid in my <laughs> tree. But that is okay. Uh, that is okay. These little really broken cool. pieces of clay to make my little broken, my little broken heart. My little broken heart. Yeah, well, you're definitely a fixture here in the bay. You definitely are. Well, thanks for having me. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't be right not to. I just want this texture on here too. Yeah, yeah. This was such a good idea. Plus it gave me a reason to day drink. I don't want you to be nervous about my piece right now. Cause I actually. No. So no, I, what I find with art is that good. it all goes through an ugly phase. Like I try to tell people like, don't oh, like I'm work through the ugly phase, right? Like get through it. Do I look like concerned about what no, you're doing? No, but at maybe. All? No, you're doing. I just want to make sure. Like I am good with this. I I find that through through the the hardship and the in the unsureness of of 
working with art, the beauty comes through, but you have to almost go through an ugly phase. If you're doing anything in the world, is this it? Absolutely. Doing it? Yeah, I really am. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, Very few people get to say that. You know that? Yeah, well, Very... a few years ago, I decided time to kind of totally reinvent myself. And, and What were I'm, you doing before this? Well, for like 25 years, I was doing engineering consulting, training work up in Boston for technology companies. Wow. Now look at you. And I was still playing around with clay, but that was a side project. You know? Really? I'm, I'm not sure what story it's telling, but I like it. Very cool. Thanks. Okay. Pause. <laughs>Okay, Milo, so now we're taking our manipulated pot and we're going to add some colored slips to it. So this is your slip here that you're using as glue. And we take some different chemicals. In this case, we take a little bit of Spanish red iron oxide. I'm not sure it really comes from Spain, but anyway, <laughs> we mix it together and we make this brown Ooh, paste. So okay. here you go. Now, okay. uh, that's just clay now with some oxides to give it some color. So now we have a variety of different brushes that we can use to uh, apply that slip. Bigger with. is better. Alrighty, have different thicknesses and to have a little bit of the clay showing underneath. Right? So imperfection is perfection. In this case, yeah, I think that what we're going for is we're going for pieces and to have those different colors of texture and clay showing are, are really good. Well, my imperfections will be perfections. Per perfect. 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 think about is there any uh, further decoration you want to do do you want to use some other types of slip like a white slip yeah or let's a do black a white slip let's you do could a white use highlights slip. with a white yeah let's do it okay let's mix up a little white slip okay okay cool we're gonna do it all Superpowers, what would your superpowers be? So it's something not real life. Uh, okay, so it would be to snap my fingers and to create uh, fresh brewed kombucha. Could, wouldn't that be cool? Like to have, and then this so is filled I, with kombucha. All the superpowers of the world. You're like, I like to make kombucha. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. Okay. Hey, there's no judgment here in, in the pottery. No, land. no judgment. Nope. So no, no judgment, judgment in the. This is a free of the kombucha <laughs> superpower pottery zone. But I really, I, I really think you should work on your superpower. <laughs> okay, I'll work on that. I'll get back to you. I think, I think you should pick something. Maybe I don't know <laughs> else. Something else. No judgment. Mom. No ju I, That wasn't judgment. I was helping you. That's <laughs> okay. that's just helpful. I appreciate it. So, did you want to know my superpower? Milo, 
What is your superpower? If I could have any superpower in the world, I would have the power to... Everyone would just love everybody. Mm. Every stranger you meet wouldn't be your stranger. We'd all be like tied together and you just like love everything and everyone and the flowers. <sighs> Meta, yeah. loving kindness. Loving everywhere. kindness everywhere. dries we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna both sign our name on the bottom yay yeah. because you built it yeah and, and you i decorated it. destroyed it no <laughs> you brought it to life this new show is called destroyed by milo thank <laughs> you for joining me to find out more about steve barney and his pottery classes go to the bay st louis creative arts center on the website or find them on facebook